Hey guys, so today's video, um, I'm just going to share a little bit about my authenticity journey and coming back home to self and my observations I've seen in others um, and where this shows up within myself and just like how seeing others shows me my growth um, this can help you and witnessing yourself and your authenticity um, and your expression of authenticity. Uh, so authenticity has been coming up for me a lot lately, being that I am in a woman, an eight-week women's boot camp, and it's pretty fascinating because this camp has really shifted me back to my true self. Um, and I was so excited to first go into it because like there was so many women, and I was really wanting to connect with like sisterhood and women energy. And I realized that as much as I desired that, that uh, a lot of women in the camp are not showing up for themselves. And so it makes it kind of difficult because I keep showing up and I'm like, I'm here, let's do some of the things that we're, um, we signed up to do. And then people just don't meet me there, which has been a lot to unpack and digest, right? And so, um, I don't know, one of the girls that I was in camp with, um, I follow her on Instagram and she made a post about being unapologetically you and it really caught my attention because to me she is not unapologetically herself she avoids herself a lot and this is just my take on what i'm picking up on her energy as i interact with her and in interacting with her i realized the universe um has really helped me see my growth right and so she made this video and she was like being super hyped up and her hair was waving everywhere and like she she was just like super hyped about being herself but like at the end of the day like I feel like a lot of people in these self-healing journeys um do not always hyped to be yourself uh you have repressed parts of yourself for so long you've been ashamed of parts of yourself for so long like it's hard to always be hyped it's exhausting to always be hyped in fact like always being hyped and then focusing on being high vibration like really drags on the energy system because it's like you're putting this energetic repression band-aid on all the stuff that like you've like had to repress for so long or like in the case of her she's putting this huge energetic band-aid on like all of the stuff that she is avoiding unpacking within herself right and so it's interesting because then it just has me thinking about like well um what is being un unapologetically you to you? And for me, I think what I'm learning in my journey is to be unapologetically me is to keep showing up the way I do here on YouTube. Um, at first, when I was first getting in my journey, I found myself looking at like what influencers do, which they would say to look at other influencers, right? So then you're like imitating, which then if you're imitating, are you really being true to yourself? Are you really showing up for yourself? Mm, probably not. And so I got caught up in that for a little, trying to figure that out. And then I like started getting really stressed about like having the perfect videos, um, which was like stressing about that. That makes me being apologetic to be me. Like, okay, I'm not super into video editing and photo editing and computer software. And it's okay if I'm not, I don't have to be. If it works for one person and doesn't work for me like that's great for them and that's great for me like there's no like I don't know it's not like you have to be able to do video edits to be on YouTube right and so I've slowly as I started showing back up on YouTube again I've slowly started just like putting my videos out there I haven't been trying to like script or follow bullet points unless I feel like there's a lot to follow and like I wear wigs when I'm feeling colorful I wear big flowers when I'm feeling colorful I love colors I love all of that so that is me showing up as myself right I've just started getting into getting my nails done and I love the bright colors um and in videos like I don't care about transitions at all and I realize that's a viewer preference and if they prefer that then there's another content maker out there that will do the transitions and the video edits that they're looking for or that they're used to right and that doesn't say anything about me or reflect anything about me that like isn't like awesome it's just me showing up unapologetically where I am in like my video editing skills or my presentations and the thing is like back in the day I don't know like y'all don't know me but when I was in school um and had public speaking class like I like 
cried in front of class like two different times talking in front of people right and so it's like why am I gonna go out all this extra stress of making these perfect videos um when I now I'm at the point of like celebrating like hey Tisha you're showing up for yourself here you are on this video you're in like your bra and biker shorts because you just got back from a bike ride you don't have makeup on and like you're owning it and that's freaking dope you know and that is for me showing up and being unapologetic about who I am and where I am some days I want to wear makeup and I look super radiant and glowy with my makeup and some days I'm totally cool being natural and that's also about authenticity and apologetic like being unapologetically you which also like a lot of people talk about like um self-care and like uh, self-care can really be like a really wonderful thing to implement as you're owning who you are and unapologetically being you right and there's a lot of things that it would be good to have in your self-care toolbox and I hear a lot of people like ragging on self-care baths like self-healing isn't all about like taking bubble baths and journaling and I'm like um actually bubble baths are highly regulating to the nervous system the oils you put in the bath are very regulating if you put in flower essences that helps you unpack some stuff that might need you might need a good cry that might be your self-care and taking that bath with that flower essence might be your good cry so if you do hear people kind of poo-poo on baths um maybe still do that pleasure research and give it a try and see if it is for you maybe you find that after a while after doing it a few times your body's like mm, i really love this warm water and this cup of tea and you feel yourself yawning your shoulders relax you feel yourself just like getting sleepy as like the tension from the day melts away and that's great um but it goes it all goes into knowing like what is true to you and what is not true to you which i think to show up and be authentic and unapologetically yourself like you got to know your belief systems which i think i did a video on belief systems a while back if not i'll make one but it's so important to know your belief systems like what do you believe and why do you believe it is this belief still serving you or is this a new belief that you'd like to take on are there any beliefs that aren't serving you that you'd like to let go of so that you can take on this belief right and then this will help you show up for yourself more this will help you be a way shower in a sense because the more confident you are in like letting go of what's not working for you and taking in what is working for you like the more that's in your energy field and the more it entrains people to you because being authentic and being true to yourself in your heart not your ego will help other people and train to your coherent energies. And then you create this ripple effect of authenticity and love and helping people come back to themselves, right? And so, yeah, belief systems and knowing like what works for you. Like sometimes maybe in your self-care toolkit, it, it's like going to get your nails done if you're a woman or I mean, guys, you can get pedicures. Like it's good to have your feet touched. It's good to be touched by, by another human. It relaxes the nervous system, right? And like nervous system regulation is so important and how we show up in the world. You can't really show up for yourself if you're constantly in fight or flight or dysregulated or people pleasing or self abandoning. Um, and as you regulate over and over, it teaches you that it's safe to show up for yourself. It's safe to be you. So I mean, some days maybe going in for nails is like your way of showing up for yourself. You're like, man, I had like a really shitty day. I could really use a foot massage. I could really use some pretty colors and feel in my feminine or men you can like feel into your feminine through like getting a pedicure or reflexology and allowing that touch to relax you to nourish you to make you connect with the sensuality that is your inner feminine right but then on the other hand like you have to know yourself and what's working for you and what doesn't work for you and you have to use your discernment and like understand like do is this tool going to work for me is it not going to work for me because sometimes people might go in for to get their nails done and it's actually an avoidance technique where they're like oh if I get my nails done I don't really have to look at the shadow side of things I'm just looking at the surface right so it's really knowing like what what is you what helps you um come back to you what helps you shine and show up and then and showing up you might find like um that it triggers other people because they don't show up for themselves right and so if they're not showing up for themselves when they see you showing up for yourself they're gonna get irritated with you and that doesn't mean like anything about you it's just they're irritated with themselves because they know deep down it would be wise for them to show up for themselves right and so then the universe is eventually going to kind of like work them out of your life probably or perhaps you're irritated because someone keeps showing up for themselves and 
like they're hyped sometimes and other times like they're grieving something but they still show up in that grief like hey I'm not feeling so hot but here I am maybe at work doing the job and I'm still handling people with grace and dignity while I'm still treating myself with grace and dignity right um and then that'll be an invitation for you to like be like oh maybe I could like kind of work on that a little bit and then it would be a good idea to like journal and figure out like where it started that you started self-avoiding or whatever is showing up for you and yeah I, like I also find in showing up for myself that it's really about like pleasure and understanding what brings you pleasure and showing up for yourself in the way of like I'm doing this because I am worthy of pleasure I deserve to feel pleasure and the more you're in your pleasure the more you can like manifest and draw things to you that are enjoyable and so really showing up to do like the work to know what brings you pleasure like one day you might really find that like a donut with sprinkles is so pleasurable but then like another day or maybe even a whole month you're like man I really just am loving the greens and that's cool because you know what is working for you however when you restrict yourself and limit yourself and tell your body it can't have all these things and you shame yourself because you like get into all these things these things are tools to show you where you can expand and so like learning about pleasure and like moderation which I guess what I'm talking about would be like moderate hedonism in a sense um which if you're doing like the pleasure research like the role that goes with that is like your pleasure will never harm another person so as long as it's like if it's your if it's pleasure and it's you pleasure researching it'll never harm another person because I know some people in like my philosophy class back in the day would argue that like oh what if it brings someone pleasure to like murder someone that's that's not truly pleasure I would say they're probably murdering from a different place it's not from a place of pleasure right um so just like really allowing yourself to experience pleasure is also you showing up for yourself and being unapologetic about it you know like maybe like you want to go out to eat and like you're with your girlfriends and you order four tacos and the girls order like two don't crack a joke at yourself and be like oh I'm just like the fat girl ha 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 like own your beauty own your pleasure you wanted four tacos you got four tacos those girls probably wanted four tacos too and they didn't like so who's really showing up for themselves you know who's showing up for the tummy and that nervous system right um there's a lot of things I can say about showing up and being authentic and yeah like what else do I have on this? Do, 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 do. Nope, they're saying that's it for now. So I guess I'll do another part two at a later time. And then I also will be doing a video um, probably in the next couple of weeks about like friendship breakups. Because um, that tends to happen as you start to show up for yourself, as you start to do the work, as you start to go through life initiations, you do go through friendship breakups, which then that requires you to be authentic and true to yourself. Like, are you going to hold on to this friendship that's like, weighing you down and keeps you constricting or are you going to let go and let yourself expand and let the flow of life support and nourish you and uplift you um in your journey so that's like a whole nother topic though I'll do that video shortly Alrighty, I hope this was helpful if you have any questions feel free to pop them in the comments please like and subscribe if you subscribe then you stay up to do on any uh, up to date on any lives that i do i like to do live sound baths sometimes i do like a live card reading just really brief stuff um it'll keep you like tuned in for like when i do free form dance videos guided meditation so just subscribe so that way like you're in the know how of what's going on on this channel and then thank you for taking the time to watch this video i'd love to hear how you've shown up for yourself and i also applaud you on showing up for yourself right now watching this beautiful you did great Woo! Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Goodbye.